Accidental shootings send dozens of kids to Norton Children's Hospital every year, and doctors say they are 100% preventable. WDRB's Darby Bean tells us the question parents should ask that could prevent a tragedy. Norton Children's Hospital says although it's seen fewer patients so far this year with injuries from accidental shootings, each one is still one too many. A child finding a gun and exploring it and accidentally shooting themselves or someone else is 100% preventable. Norton Children's Hospital says as of this May, there have been nine pediatric patients come in with injuries from accidental shootings. The numbers over the past several years show the Children's Hospital has seen dozens of kids annually with accidental gunshot wounds. The injuries range from a soft tissue injury to the leg to a fatal shooting to the chest or to the face and anything in between. This Friday is Ask Day. Many are already wearing t-shirts and raising awareness, encouraging parents to start the conversation and ask others about gun storage and safety. And a big component of that is making sure that firearms are securely stored around our children wherever they are. Community members working to prevent violence in the city say this type of communication is crucial. If we don't have that conversation, then it's never going to be had or it's going to be had recklessly. Hospital staff says triple safe storage includes making sure any gun is unloaded, locked and the ammunition is stored and locked separately. Also kept out of reach and sight of kids. Avoid nightstands, nightstand drawers, under mattresses, under pillows, um, underneath closets, like in shoe boxes, that's pretty popular. You want to avoid those areas. Norton Children's also offers safe storage classes, giving out trigger locks and teaching how they work. You push it as tight as it'll go, and then after it's secure, you're going to lock it and remove the key, and it will be locked. And gun locks are, uh, are very important, those, those safety locks, and, or, and, or either having a safe. So, you know, being able to put them in because kids can get into anything. The next safe storage class is this fall. Online registration is open now. Reporting in Louisville with photojournalist Ian Cunningham, Darby Bean, WDRB News.